If everything has gone well, all of your lift has made it to the bottom platform. If not, the simplest thing to do would be to destroy and rebuild the lift at the bottom using this diagram. Once you have the launch and return stations, you'll need to just modify the timings until the lift launches every time. For the base, I like to place all of the pistons with one go and add the circuitry part by part. First we have the observer sliders. Gonna speed that up now. Notice how I place the pistons in relation to the observers that they're gonna move across. Now the piston swappers. We pretty much use the exact same setup for the piston swapper down here, but pay attention to the other side of the switch here. We don't need a lever here anymore because we are running this circuit back up to our main button at the top. The obsidian here works as an immovable block to hold a repeater that will power this piston. As the slime blocks move next to the obsidian, they will not be able to drag the block or the observer with it. That was in the wrong place. By running current onto this block, the block in turn feeds the repeater.
giving the circuit a once over is important. You are checking that it is all running all the way up to the main button and that the repeaters are delaying each section correctly. So I first want to test the lift without launching it. Here I'm just going to break the launcher part of the circuit so we can test the launcher and swappers without setting the lift off. And just to be sure, let's block off the top of the lift too. Okay, let's test it. Except I didn't add one part of the launcher yet. Uh, one of the pistons has been pushed into the wrong place. Let's remove the piston from its wrong place and add the right part now. Yep, it moved the sticky piston along. Now let's add its counterpart, the normal piston, back into place. Testing again. It seems to have worked. Check that a piston hasn't shifted out of place. No shifted pistons back here. You can see here that the observer has already been moved over in our circuit test run. Now what is remaining to check is the timing of this launcher repeater. It needs to happen after the piston switching completes. Try and slow it down in your mind by listening to the pistons as they activate. Why isn't it working? Oh yeah, make sure the flipping circuit is connected. I'm not sure if the audio will sync right, but you want to wait for the da 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 before the repeater lights up and it should launch correctly. There we go. I think we can try the main launch now, so let's put the launcher circuit back and remove the obsidian block in our lift. If these sticky pistons and piston are the wrong way round, then it shouldn't be a problem. Just press the button again. It'll switch them and then launch anyway, the next time you press the button. So, thank you for watching. This has been Minecraft Pocket Edition Slime Block Elevator Tutorial Once you've completed it, you know, once you learn how to do it properly, you can really have a lot of fun with it Make a skyscraper or, you know Make it sideways There's a lot you can do just from that knowledge, you know, make your own designs make an improvement on it So, yeah Hopefully this has been helpful. Mm, happy Minecraft.